pixels.coo Welcome to you and welcome to explainer number six in this showcase series. In this explainer we'll add some ambient gallery sound to the scene, then add spatial sound to an arcade machine here in Arcade Corner. This is a recap explainer for key workflows. See our VR explainer series for full step-by-step -step instructions. Let's start by finding some suitable ambience for our gallery. I'm going to use this track called Nuisance. found on Free Music Archive. While I'm here I'm also going to download a track that will emanate from my arcade machine. I'm going to download this track from Ryan Anderson. I've opened my current gallery scene. Let's start by adding the ambient music track. I'll create a new object by going to Game Objects, Create Empty. Remember to give this object a name. In the inspector, add component, audio source. Drag and drop the ambience mp3 file to the audio clip field. And I'm going to set the clip to loop. I'll adjust the volume to be around 0.3. It's meant to only be background ambience after all. To check it plays back okay, just press play. That's working fine. Secondly, let's head over to Arcade Corner. I've already downloaded and imported this free arcade machine asset from the Unity Asset Store. I've customised it by adding a simple name marquee created in Photoshop and added a short looping video of a retro style driving game. Let's add the arcade music track to the machine. Select the arcade cabinet, add component, audio source. Again, drag and drop the music file to the audio clip field. I want the spatial blend to be one, effectively giving us a 3D sphere of sound. I'll set this max distance to be seven, meaning the machine can be heard up to seven meters away. This will matter when we go on to export our gallery video tour and of course when exploring the scene in a VR headset. We can tweak these sound settings as needed later on. I'll continue to build my gallery and add additional sounds. In the next explainer we'll create a video tour of our favourite gallery sections and export it as a video file. Pixels.cool